Let's create our serverless application. Make sure the endpoint type that we choose is regional. We will create two Lambda functions, very simple. And we will create two endpoints, slash hello and slash health, to integrate with these two Lambda functions. We will deploy the application to two different AWS regions, US West 2 and US East 1. Once deployed, we will validate that all the endpoints are working fine in both the regions. Let's start. Here I'm in VS Code. So let's start with the open. And we'll create a new folder. Let's call it SLS multi region failover demo. And open this. Let's open a new terminal. And we are make sure that we are in the folder that we just created. Here we will create our serverless application. The template we'll use is Node.js and let's call it the same name that we chose for the folder. This will give us the boilerplate code, just like that. We will make some modifications to the serverless YAML file and the handler. Here, in the provider section, we will add the endpoint type. Endpoint type is, I will choose as regional. We don't need any of this. So we will clean up a little bit. We will add a API path, let's say events, and then event type is HTTP. Path is for the hello, we will say slash hello. And method is simple get. We will create one more function in the same file and let's call it health. And the path is also health. We do not need any of these uh, other things, so we'll just clean it up. So very simple serverless YAML where we choose the endpoint type as regional created two Lambda functions, hello and health, which are integrated with the API endpoints, slash hello and slash health. Let's create these two functions in the handler file. We already have some code here, so we don't need the input events. We'll just say, let's change this message a little bit. We can say, um, hello from my cloud tutorials, SLS, multi-region, failure, demo. And we will stick the region name in this. And the region name can be obtained from the context. So we will pass the second parameter here called context and we will get the region name like this. We will say context dot invoked function ARN dot split on colon and that's the the region name comes as a third element in that array. So we are saying hello from my cloud tutorials SLS multi-region failover demo and this is the region so that we can identify it as it was returned from a particular region. Leave rest of the things as is, let's clean up and that should do it. Let's create another function called health. And in this case, we will return a string that we will check while setting up the health configuration in Route 53. So let's make sure that we call something like uh, 
Okay. Well, let's put it somewhere. Hello from my car tutorial, SLS multi-region failover demo. Health, okay. And when we simulate the failover, we will remove this okay from this particular string. So everything else look good, looks good. So let's uh, try to deploy this to US West 2. SLS deploy region is US West 2. Maybe we can start deploying to US East 1 as well. So here I'll say SLS deploy region to US East 1 since we want to deploy it in two different regions to check the multi-region failover anyways. Let's check the progress of the first one. Let's go to my uh, AWS management console. Let's go to cloud formation. And you can see that I'm still in the Oregon region and my serverless multi-region failover demo dev is in progress. You see the events. So the bucket is created and let's go here and check. So our IAM role is created, bucket is created. I think it will be creating Lambda function and IAPI gateway, and then we, sh we should be able to test it. Let's check the progress of the other one. So we can go to CloudFormation in, let's go to open a new tab and go to CloudFormation in US East 1, which is the North Virginia region. And yeah. As you can see that this is in progress here as well. We'll wait for these to finish and we should get the endpoints. Okay, so US West 2 is already finished. So let's try to hit this endpoint, hello. If you do command and link, it should say, it should open the endpoint in a browser. Here we can see it's saying hello and from this region, US West 2, which is great. Let's try to click on the health and it should have health is okay from region west 2, which is great. Let's see if our US east 1 deployment is complete. Yes, it is. So let's try to check this endpoint, which says US east 1. And the health check endpoint from US east 1 is says okay. So our application is deployed in both the regions successfully. We have two endpoints integrated with two Lambda functions, which are all working fine. That is it for this section. I will see you in the next. Thank you.